practice some bobble shadow. Um, I was struggling a little bit. I was struggling a little bit earlier. Should we turn two peevers? How's it going, Johnny? Congratulations on your interview. I was busy yesterday, so I didn't get to quite respond to you. But um, I was struggling a little bit last night when it came to playing like angler really early in the game. So I decided to like add some bobbles. I thought about cutting like a swamp for a fourth scalding tarn. So my dog is going nuts over there. Um, but we're gonna try to just get a little more consistent pressure on the battlefield. I need more we need pressure if I want to play this deck like reliably. And I need those early anglers. Um, sideboard's kind of similar to what was yesterday. Four more counter spells. Lava Man for the uh, for the humans decks. Which, like, you know, whatever. The other guys are giving it a try, so I will. Pyromancer's kind of a good grind card. Got one abrade. He's being a squeaker for sure, yeah. One abrade, because it's just another removal spell and hits whatever the dumb card is. Hollow one. K commands and last hopes to grind. And late Radiant Flames is my sweeper of choice. So, we're just going to jump into it quick. Get going. Philly is a squeak. He's a cutie for sure. Oh wow, they have Brawl now? Sweet. Let's play some Brawl. Alright, Bobble Grixis. Get me some tickets in here. Let's play some Magic the Gathering. Philly's the best. Let me tell you about my dog, my dog Phil. Oh, it's the first time I've had coffee in like two days. We've just been under the weather. This coffee is so good. <clears throat> Brawl's like standard commander, Johnny. All right, here we go. I think I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I don't have any way to do damage to myself, so I don't have any of these shadows going on. That was a fetch line I keep it. Alright, this hand's good. <clears throat> we got some sweet street wraith action on turn one, so hopefully we hit a discard spell or something. <coughs> Opponent mulligan two, what a guy. Wow, they mulligan five, jeez. We don't want that. Drew to the land. Hopefully my opponent gives me something to point this lightning bolt at early in the game. I hope they didn't. I would assume, I'm gonna go we were playing Storm. If I was gonna guess. They do this, they put a card on top. So this is going to go get me Watery Grave. And now we're going to opt. I don't think we want this. That's pretty sweet. All right, we're going to opt on our main phase because it's one, two, three, four. Well, we're going to opt on our main phase because we could hit a uh, discard spell. I'm going to keep that because now if I hit an angler, I can cast it. All right. The next time we can snap Thoughtseize if we need to. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm just going to take this remand. They have a grape shot, so we're going to have to be a little worried about a life total. All right. Playing Dun Shadow? Nice. Nice. I'm actually playing this one because the uh, my buddy in the chat has my timer voice. So, all right. So there's nasty Germasty. So we could just cast Angler and then play this, but it's not gonna take a lot for my opponent to kill me. I think I'm just gonna cast the Angler.
Well, and actually, we're going to fetch. Because we want to keep that thought season there. I just forgot, Johnny, to tell you the truth. I showed up today and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll just play. I'll just play Grixis. I just zoned. If, if the 100% truth be told. Alright, so now I'm kind of hoping we don't die here. <clears throat> we have a little bit worse of a main deck matchup against this deck because we don't have too many. Alright, that's a good sign for us. We're going to have to start beating them though. Like, they're going to be able to do some serious damage to us. They're going to be able to kill us from not a lot because we're gonna definitely going to snap Thoughtseize next turn. I just zoned out, Johnny, to tell you the truth, and I was too lazy. We are snap flooded. <clears throat> There's a bottom, bottom. All right, so we're just gonna, ooh. So my opponent, okay, my opponent can like go ritual. So if they hit a ritual, then we're in trouble, but they went bottom, bottom. I think I still gotta take this, well. So what happens, if I take this grape shot, my opponent plays Brawl, and then if they hit a land or a ritual, I'm dead. I guess I actually do have to take Brawl. And then just kill my opponent really fast. Because I hit land or ritual, I'm dead. That's deep. it's a random draw. Yeah, I think it's gonna be an adult and take the Brawl. Dude, the storms are brewing, man. Yeah, that's 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 the plan. He's actually just dead if you hit if he misses. That's another kind of sweet part about how um, Dylan built this deck. All right. You gonna kill me? It says one. Manamorphose. Okay, so now he's just fishing. He doesn't have enough to kill me. Because now he goes past in flames. He just has one, one mana. Which isn't enough to generate more. So he's, he's just kind of fishing now. <clears throat> Should be all set. Well, we'll add a dead or, you know. Maybe he's gonna brawl, he's gonna grape shot. It's a snapcaster maze. That's good for the home team. You got another grape shot? No. Gas. Good game. Smoke you with my fish. With nasty germasty. Alright, so I want this and these. This is probably it though. Uh, cards I'm not in the market for. Fatal push can go. And probably these dismembers can go. Most of the time, well, actually, we can cut a snapcaster because we're not looking to play that long of a game. And I'll keep one dismember. Most of the time, they shave down a lot on their cost reducers <coughs> K command is not good because they keep Brawl in doesn't kill Brawl yeah I think we're going to keep it like this nice easy peasy lemon squeezy we're going to keep one dismember because it can supercharge our draw something I do like with this deck is that you play all these bolts so you can bolt yourself if you need to. It's kind of similar to bolting a tar fire. 
This is similar to Tarfire used to be in the old uh, Gen Shadow decks. Okay, so they're 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 predominantly gonna win after sideboard with empty the warrens. <clears throat> so this hand's like pretty borderline. We have a scry and two redraws, so I think I'm gonna keep it because this battle rage is well we got double outs to empty, which is kind of feels good. I think I'm just gonna keep this. I think this is a tough one to send back. Like, there's a lot of ways that we easily this does not turn out okay with our us, but like we do the bobble trick. All right, that's good. That's a really good draw. So now we can bobble. See if we want to fetch it away. This is why I love Mistress Bobble. Yeah, we want to fetch that away. So this is gonna give me probably Blood Crypt. Oh geez. Um. Wow. So I can't take him in his cantrips. Which one is the worst for us over a long period of time? Probably the search for his counter. Like all these are pretty bad. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take a search. All right, there's nasty. All right, miss. We can turn two nasty too. That's sweet. Nice. Okay, so we're definitely. Well, I guess I sh I could have bobbled myself there to determine if I wanted to fetch or not, but I was gonna. No, that doesn't make sense. Okay, Stubbs, great. Um, I don't want this Death Shadow. I'm gonna leave the Thought Scour to build my Graveyard back up. Oh, I need to pay one more. All right, if I need to pay one more, I'm actually just gonna bobble. Because I'd like to leave the Thought Scour and the... Okay, so they are drawing a land. So I'd like to leave Thought Scour and Thought Seize in my graveyard. It kind of sucks this wipe away is gonna be like pretty bad for us. Unless like I'm gonna be able to thought, snap Thought Seize the wipe away, which is good. Cause I don't want to make it so my angler doesn't do anything. Okay, so that's what they drew, or at least it's, okay, so what do I do now? Now that I've got this Death Shadow, I could just sit behind and stub the pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I do like only playing three Snapcast Mages in this deck. This doesn't feel like a super great Snapcast Mage deck. <coughs> yeah, I think he wanted to have two Teamer Battle Rages. Um, he's, no, I'm definitely not the best Shadow player around. Um, I know I struggle quite a bit with... Um, is my opponent just dead? Yeah, they're dead. Sweet. On four. All right. Um, like with Opt, most of the people play Serum Visions, but like I just struggle a lot with Serum Visions and a deck with like 12 to 11 or 12 fetch lands. Because like if you want, if you go top, top, sometimes you just like really mess your turn up, your turn sequences up. That hurts my feelings. All right, we'll keep this. That's a watery grave on one, more than likely. 
Oh, opponent mulligan? There's nothing better than when your opponent mulligans than hitting them with a discard spell. Oh, we're playing against elves. Alright. Now I've got to think. I'm tempted to bolt this. But I've only got one more removal spell. Because we're going to get steam vents. This is my only removal spell. We're going to get to see three cards out of land, which is good. I hate fetching these off, these non black fetch lands. My puppy is sound asleep over there. It's just chilling out. This is a battle rage. If I draw a battle rage, I'm gonna rage, okay. Yeah, I understand what Serum Visions does. One time dealer. Super tilt. <laughs> yeah, I get what Serum Visions does, but like. Sometimes you don't have like things move so fast, and there's such small narrow, such such small margins. Sometimes you can't, like, oh, that's bad. Sometimes you can't afford to play that far in advance. Yeah, I'm dead. The Dwayne is elite. Yep. Yeah, this is this is wicked over. This feels over at least. This is like an arch druid. That's no, Dwayne is elite. They play another one here. They need a Thought Scour to like fetch land uh, Death Shadow in order to have like any sort of chance. Okay, so I guess I can go like fetch my basic and go snap. Like, use this Snapcaster Mage to, like, get me out of a little bit of trouble. I probably want to just bolt this Heritage Druid, actually, right now, but even before they can untap. The Snapcaster Mage is going to buy me time. <coughs> and I'll trade the Snapcaster Mage with anything. Now we gotta play for the long game because we're not gonna win. We're not winning anything fast. Oh, that's gross. We're just gonna trade. So what do they get? They've had Dwayne's Elite. What did they put in their hand? They put Shaman in the pack and Metal Sentinel. Okay. So now what do I do? I can go Thought Seize. Thought Seize the Shaman of the Pact. Flash in. I go six. Fetch Shock to three. Block. Kill something. All right, that seems like the plan. Can I just go block kill, go to one? And I'm kind of like just in this position all over again. Yeah, I'm just like super dead. Like I, I can sit here and tread water, but I'm not actually like winning the game. Yeah, that, that kills me. <coughs> okay. So, I want Lava Man, Abrade, Radiant Flames, Last Hope. The Pyromancer probably can, like, is like a maybe, as it can just sit there and block. Snapcaster Mage is not that great. Probably we want to shave on a couple anglers. 
Um, these inquisitions aren't great. We go something like this. And now it just comes down to like, are any of my other cards worse than um, Young Pyromancer? And I could I could buy that the Snapcaster Mages are actually worse than Young Pyromancer. Yeah. At least Pyromancer is going to sit here and block. Like we have so much removal that like we're going to be able to handle their important things and the. Pyromancer can at least stop us from getting beat down like he was out of Shaman in the pack range Or maybe I just want to cut all of these street rates because my opponent's playing Shaman in the pack Yeah, let's give this a try Let's give this a whirl Alright, we'll keep this <clears throat> if we draw away to deal damage to ourselves, we can get a Death Shadow down on two. Like if we get a Fetch Land or something. Probably dismembering whatever he plays here. Now we want to fetch land. That's pretty good. It does kind of suck that our, like to, to turn this Lava Mancer on, we're gonna have to use this Fatal Push, which also uses our red source, Spell Skite. Spell Skite. All right, that's good. This island's messing us up. I'm actually just gonna chump check my opponent here. <coughs> Got him. So now you just need that one point of damage. <coughs> okay, save an arch druid. The stampede's annoying. I'm gonna end up pushing this spell sky. Three cards, so we got. Alright, so they drew a bunch of stuff. That's not bad. It's gonna increase our clock and hopefully hit a payoff. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take this Arch Druid. Oh, I hate how this does this in the card viewer. Well, they have two, they actually have two of them, okay. So I wanna leave the Fatal Push and the Dismember in my graveyard. So if I hit, Radiant Flame should be good. Elvish Visionary is really good. I'm going to hit the one that makes mana. This is like a, a situation where Lava Man is just so good because there's no, there's no way for it to... Uh, for him to, uh, whatever it is. No, he's just gonna concede, okay. There's no way for him to make his creatures larger. <laughs> so like, Lava Man is just gonna do so much work. Okay, on the draw, on the draw, I think we're actually just gonna cut these Snapcaster Mages and then bring these back in, just to have some, some more interaction to lower my curve. Like, I guess kind of things that kill things and like the Snapcaster Mages are just slow. The snaps are too slow.
All right, we're keeping it. We got a lava man. Hopefully, we draw land off the top so that we can get like blood crypt. This thing's actually gas. We just draw lands. Gas. All right, so this gets blood crypt. Cast my homeboy. Next thing we're going to thought season and shoot something. Just try to contain the board a little bit. If you can like, if you can leverage this card, it's pretty good right now. Oh, that sucks. Another lava boy. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna thought seize. Then we're gonna take this arch druid, and then now we're just gonna attack and play death shadow. We're gonna have to restart moto after this match. <coughs> yeah, if he's gonna sit there and do nothing and just hold up, then we're just gonna punish him by getting this guy out there. Well, and they just scooped it up. All right, hang on. I'm going to restart Moto. So I guess while we're doing this, my name is Dylan Heavy. Thank you guys for showing up to my stream. If you guys like to see, please hit the follow button. Um, it's the best way for other people to see me, and it is free. Um, if you guys want to support me a little more, go over to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, that's the best way to do it if you don't want to spend any money, which, like, magic's expensive. I get it. Um... You should check out Gamer Craze, which is where I learned to play Magic. The Crystal Commerce is linked below. They have a college environment, so they, they foster, so they have like pretty competitively priced cards. Um, Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business. They have a team. They do uh, the podcast. Like they're just they're overall they're really great for the community. So you should check them out. And if you guys do want to go above and beyond, please. Feel free to hook me up with a subscription. It is not, it is not mandated, but all subscription money goes towards making sure Philly stays fed, and that's what's important. That my cute little puppy is fed. So, well, Brandon Owens, if that was somebody, thank you very much. Oh, I guess we're. I should have waited a hot second here. Moto's still tweaking out. I guess we'll just... Brandon Owens! Thank you very much for the subscription, my friend. Enjoy your emote. I appreciate you. Feel free to send me a message here if you have any questions about, uh, about Death Shadow or have a version of Death Shadow that you'd like me to give a whirl, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you a lot. day is going fantastic there Brandon definitely jump the gun a little bit on this uh, on this here oh that was a YouTube subscription oh I forgot I updated the YouTube subscription well, I appreciate the YouTube subscription also I forgot I made it so that those show up on my uh, on my stream I'm getting up there. I've almost got 200 subscribers on YouTube. It took me like it took me like five months to get to 100, and now it's taking me just about almost two to get to um, 200. Just gas. But that's the best way to like. If you don't want to open up your pocketbook, like that's totally cool. Magic's expensive, and I get that. The best way to support me is to just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free and sweet. And I archive pretty much everything that I do up there. I like this deck so far. It's been nice how to like, yeah, it's been really nice to not have to worry about like, 
or just pound, just pounding out my anglers, like getting them in there fast. Like I really, the the biggest part that frustrates me about this deck is how, um, the biggest thing that frustrates me is that it isn't necessarily as threat dense and threat reliant. But what I really like about this, I really like this version here. Now that we're dumping another. We're getting our anglers down a little more consistently. Then I might even be looking into cut like a swamp or an island for the fourth scalding tarn. Just to have more more actual like ways to get it in there. That's one, two, three, four. One, two. It still leaves me with five lands, so I can hard cast tree rays if I need to. Alright, we're gonna keep this. Playing against G off. I know I played against this guy once or twice. I can't think of what he plays, but. You gonna play some hollow one? Maybe not. All right, so let's bobble ourselves. Build our own opt here. Nasty Germasty, we do want that. We're actually gonna be able to cast the angler. GDS is my favorite deck. I play it. I play it a lot of Moto. The biggest problem with the deck is sometimes using big 20 plus cards beat and I find a threat. Yep. Okay, so we're playing against the Par Mardu Pyro. Okay, so I don't really have an answer to this Pyromancer yet. The Brutality is actually going to make sure we can cast Angler next turn, I think. I think I'm going to take the... The problem is they can just K-Command it back. That's so slow. I think I'm just going to take the Pyro. Just take their turn two play away. Because one, two, three, four. Now well, it's nice. Yeah, that's frustrating when that happens. <coughs> that's really one of the ways that I've been drawn to like Jun Death Shadow. It's because you're just you're so like it's you're just you're so such good tempo, you're just like discard, discard, threat, threat. And it's it's just very redundant. So we take Stub, which we could have seen coming. So we hit a land here. We're going to get nasty. Tilt. Um, probably just going to opt now. It's in the bottom. No. <coughs> Don't blood boom me, bro. My opponent's probably like, I can't win if he resolves this angler. Unless they got a way to kill it, which would sort of make sense why they took the stub. I've actually come kind of full circle on this deck. I didn't think this deck was very good. But it does seem alright. So that means I have a Bedlam Reveler, if I had to guess. I'd like to draw a land so that I could at least clear the way for this angler. Come on. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna get nasty down. Leave. Leave a thought seize and a stub in the graveyard. Well people have figured out how people have also like figured out how to play against it. You know, like I won, I won so many games when I was playing Death Shadow of people just like chip shotting me, and they didn't understand like that that gets you killed. All right, so I'm gonna attack first. <coughs> then I actually. So I could opt for a land or I could thought seize this K command away. Cause like the way that I lose this game is they just create like infinite chump blockers, I think. So I think I'm actually just gonna go get rid of this and just don't let them chump block my angler. That's good, so we don't need to get that bolted. One, two, three. <coughs> that deck seems cool. 
So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just take this K command and pass. So I can revler me. Yeah, I've turned three to a couple people to play in this deck. So we discarded a K command, which is good. All right. So now I think we got to opt. We got to look for a land now. Okay. I don't see how my opponent kills me next turn. And like, this sets up team or battle rage being lethal. I guess the way they kill me is they're like fetch shock to eight, and then they cast two spells. Like they're like lingering souls into faithless looting. That's how I lose. This deck still is very good because when you think about it, it checks all the boxes in modern. <laughs> it's like I want to be like you want to be disruptive. You can be linear. Okay, pyromancer is bad. This probably means that I'm at least not going to die this turn. All right, if you got another spell, you got another spell, dude. And then we're going to figure figure out what we got to do next turn. I could have like not fetched a red source there, but then like I'm not winning next turn. So like I need a red source. Yeah. <coughs> and that's what we signed up for. Like if I was gonna lose that game, that's how I was gonna lose it. All right, so I want my Liliana's, my flames. I just kind of want everything here that like I want some number of all these cards, but probably not all of them. Cut these. I like to shave at least an angler because I'm assuming they're gonna have some like. Um, I'm assuming that they're gonna have like Nile spell bombs. The battle rages are not good in grindy matchups. Let's see what this looks like. So we still have dismembers for their big guy. We still got lightning bolts to go upstairs or deal with pyromancer. So we have grim lava mance to help fight off lingering souls. We got like our anti-lingering souls cards here. Yeah, like the pyromancer deck checks a lot of boxes where it can play a linear game. I don't think I want stubborn denial. I think we're just gonna play around blood moon. I want more threats because this game's gonna go long. So we're just gonna get we're gonna get nasty. And I, I just want my Liliana's and my commands to be just constantly turned on. So, like we're we're gonna tax our graveyard pretty hard here, but we're gonna look to play a long game, so we should be able to figure it out. All right, this is good. We're just not gonna like we don't want a mulligan hands like this. We don't want a mulligan at all in this matchup. Yeah, the pyro deck is I like the pyro deck. I didn't like it beforehand, but now like you can play Blood Moon and then you can pack Molten Rains in your sideboards too. Like I think you actually might have like a legitimate I see you still don't have a good Tron matchup, but like nothing does. It feels like I feel like Tron is like one of the better decks in the format. Which is like kills me to say. This is a hand where we, we easily could kind of get like they go strip, strip, lingering souls. We could be in a little bit of trouble. But at least we can snap back this radiant flames if the game ever magically gets that long. <coughs> All right, let's check out what we got here. Dismember. I don't think we want that. I think we're getting this land tapped. We're just gonna get a blood crypt and we're gonna play a slow game here. Oh, I was gonna talk about playing around Blood Moon, but I already haven't done that. All right, let's see what they're doing. Took my Snapcaster Mage. 
Jeez. All right, so I think we're taking Lily out of the veil. They're going to Inquisition one of my two cards here. And then we got Radiant Flames to kind of clean this up. There's a lot of long game, though. Drawing those lands was not good for the home team. Yeah, it's Liliana Veils. Liliana Veil is just so good in these against against this deck. And like the reason why I played last time is I don't think Liliana Veil is super great in the format right now. I don't necessarily think that humans has a good Tron matchup though. You know, like you, you're talking about the deck that plays Ugin, All Is Dust, and whatever the card is. Um, I think we're gonna get a basic with this land, so we're just gonna we're gonna fetch now so we don't get any more. But it plays Ugin, All Is Dust, and whatever that dumb card is. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. It plays Ugin, All Is Dust. And O Stone. Our opponent hit on lands. But at least we're not going to get Liliana. Alright. Don't have a discard spell, for the love of Christ. Alright. Well, let's start digging. That's a great draw. All right, I think I'm just gonna snap bolt this thing. Alternatively, I can inquisition the K command. Nah, I think this is just gonna slow him down. Cause like this is mana very mana intensive for him to have to like rebuy this pyromancer. I'm gonna be sad if I played this. I wonder what he does. He probably makes me discard a card, doesn't shoot the Snapcaster. The Snapcaster Mage doesn't seem like it's worth killing, especially when you have a Dread Boar. So they do. They return their young Pyromancer. So they have Pyro, Dread Boar, one unknown. Tilt. I mean, we're going to get there. <laughs> we're gonna need something we need like our k commands we have four really good draws here we got k command another snapcaster would be good we have like one of our snapcasters k command and liliana last hope would be really good right now we just need to like start getting some velocity start speeding this game up a little bit don't discard spell me all right we got faith is looting all right so i got dread boar one unknown No, I didn't have my music going on. So I ditched the Dread Boar. Okay, so now we're just going to attack with this. I think I'm gonna, well, the problem is if I snap this Radiant Flames off right now, I open myself to getting Lingering Souls really bad. The problem is, like, if he just plays Cat and Mouse with me, then these Death Shadows are stuck in my hand. I think we're gonna wait. I don't wanna just get, like, Lingering Souls out of this game. Alright, so we just come in. Turns on my Death Shadows. That's a great draw. I 
could just take this crackling doom and then hold. This puts me to 10, attacks me to 8, bolts me to 5. Yeah, I think we're going to wait one more turn. I don't know if he's going to bolt me or not. Okay, so he does. Okay, so now we're going to 4. <coughs> and now we go double shadow. Or now we can go Radiant Flames. So he ditches the Lingering Souls. Okay. So now I can kind of do it all, but I go to three. So like, how cool are we to just die in a lightning bolt here? So the problem is, I can either Radiant Flames, play two Death Shadows, or I can go to three, or I can play Radiant Flames, play one Death Shadow, stay at four, and not be dead to lightning bolt, but then I'm dead to lightning bolt on the next turn. I think the best way I win this game is if I fetch my Swamp, Radiant Flames, and play two big Death Shadows. I think that's like playing to win the game. And saying, like, alright dude, you bolt us. I thought it was okay. Like, it, it, it struggled a little bit getting the Angler on too, which is what I really wanted. I think we're just gonna, like, die to Lightning Bolt here. Is it? All right, I lied. So now are we cool to just go into one? Like, does it really matter? Wait, I actually don't have, all my black sources are out. All right. Let's get this. Play a 10, 10, a 9, 9. I'm going to leave this in my hand to play around the K command. This looks like a lightning bolt. I'm going to grab some more coffee. Okay. All right, so we sniffed out the lightning bolt at least. We play swamp. Play lingering souls. Flash out lingering souls. Yep. That's tough. Yeah, that's gonna be tough to beat. Push this. Yep. No, nah, I don't think we, we're gonna draw another radiant flames. All right, and that's a tough. I think this is a tough matchup. I could have played it a little differently, but I don't know. That's a tough matchup to win without your own lingering souls. I think. Oh my god! I gotta show you guys this. Watch out! We're going for a ride. Look at my dog, he's just sleeping on his back. Alright, we'll keep this, we can build our own opt. And thoughts he's on one, playing a Wizards of the Coast writer. This makes me think they're either playing Boggles or like a green-white creature deck. So 
So we have a land on top, so we're going to cycle. Fetch a watery grave. Oh, what is this? So I just like dead. Am I actually gonna take a bone saw with a freaking thought seize? Yeah, I am. What a world we live in. So at least now we're only gonna give him one draw, and then we can we can kill both the both the uh, SRAMs. <coughs> As long as we don't die, we're good. <coughs> All right, dude. Here we go. Oh, man, did you miss? Uh, nope. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. What does the retract do, Johnny, though? Like, they need to hit one of their four moxes to make the retract good. Right? I mean, they're going to get pretty lucky. To, I mean, they're, gonna, they're doing it, but the retract doesn't really do a lot. Like, at least I make it so they only get two draws. And if they brick and I untap, then I got them. All right. So, it looks like we're, gonna, we're still going to be all right here. So, let's bobble ourselves. I feel lucky to be out of this turn. All right, we don't want that, but let's start off by... Yeah. Then we're going to kill this ram, go down to five, and then hopefully find a death shadow. All right, at least we can, like, snap Thoughtseize next turn. All right, your thought cast works. Because I don't have a dude. All right, SRAM's in there. Get your card. Yeah, way back when. So I'm probably gonna snap thought sees him this turn. Going down to not a lot of life points, but like, what's my alternative? Thought Scour, I guess. Thought Scour just seems so mopey because I could just miss, and then I'm not using like any of my mana. They win with Grave Shot, right? But they only have one Grave Shot. Line of anticipation. When they cast spells, they have flash, retract. Okay, so that's what they drew. 
Okay, so they're just gonna they're just gonna daze undoing me. Which that kind of sucks. Because I lose my graveyard and I didn't draw a threat. God, that sucks so bad. Alright, so we're gonna do. Alright, there it is. Alright, let's hope that we hit something here. And play a 12 12. <coughs> Year go, sir. Oh, they talked like a thought cast. Ugh. We just died as like anything. Cards were not cast in. So I guess it's actually worth thought scouring now to find either a stubborn denial or an inquisition of Kozilek. There's no need in going like snap opt. Alright, we're just going to play this because it plays around a blocker. Alright, dude, miss. Don't grape shot me. Don't grape shot me. Wow. Nice deck. All right. So I guess we just bring in these stubs. I, I guess I, I have no idea. I bring in stub, probably Grim Lava Mancer. The problem is that like none of these really do anything because they just continue to draw cards. Though they hit retract. So I don't even think I really want the rejections. I think I want these here. I'm kind of into K Command because their thing costs two power. But even like Stubborn Denial is not that good. The only card that it kills that it matters is Retract. We're not gonna need this to win. Um, we probably don't need like a million removal spells. We just need like one or two. So I'm going to cut the pushes because they're worse than the bolts. Especially considering we're bringing in Lava Mancer. The stub, the only card that the stub hits that matters is like Retract. But I guess it is like that important to hit Retract. Maybe hit like Mox Opal. I don't have any idea. There's no, I don't really have a... You know, a well thought out plan here. Maybe I should just cut these Snapcasters, keep this in, and then keep in the Battle Rage. At least the Lava Mancer just completely checks. The I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna keep in. I'm gonna keep in Battle Rage because it just cuts a turn off. I don't have any idea. I'm going to admit that I'm not super well set up for the Grixis Shadow versus Cheerio sideboarding plan. I don't know that one off the top of my head. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. We're going to be able to like get a Death Shadow online early. If we can get Death Shadow in play, we're going to be able to like Battle Rage over and get him. What is this? They're just getting this in play tapped. Getting that F6 value, or are they gonna see our visions? Oh, they're gonna play a turn one SRAM. They're just gonna turn one me. Oh, thought casting, okay. A lot of man's in the deck. 
All right, so we're going to definitely use our mana, so I'm just going to fetch a Watery Grave. And then we're going to start to go to Cycle Town, USA. All right, there's our homeboy. Homeboy's going to be big next turn. I think I just want I think I want to take this retract because worst case scenario well, I really don't want them to Days Undoing so what are they more likely to hit Days Undoing or the problem is okay so here's what's up if they if I hit this if I take this Days Undoing then they need to hit land they need to hit blue land or another mox off of this draw if they draw a SRAM I really don't want that their hand sucks so I think we're just going to take this Days Undoing and then we're going to be like Thought season them again and play Death Shadow, and then just like kill him. Yeah. Get out of my face. And we actually got him set up for the old turn three Aruski here. <laughs> and this is why this deck is insane. These Death Shadow decks are insane because I'm about to turn three my opponent after hitting them with two discard spells. I'm going to disrupt them twice and I'm going to kill them. Just like get out of my face. Yep. Yeah. That's why these, these Death Shadow decks are all just like criminally underplayed because they're they're difficult to play. But like I don't know. I think you should like like more people like these are the premier thoughts these decks. These shadow decks. Because you have the you have the option to interact with your opponent and you have the option to tell your opponent to go fuck themselves. Bust the cheeks. You need free wins to succeed in modern. This hand like does a whole lot of nothing, but you can't really mulligan it. No, Blood Red Elf is not a free win. It costs four mana. You are dead on a four mana. God, Blood Red Elf is sweet though. This card makes me so happy. If I could cut out like a third of, if I could cut out like six decks, I'd play John or Mardu Pyromancer all the time. Wow, another Elves deck. Um, so they play Heritage Druid. They do this. They put a card on top. Our hand is so bad against this deck. I think I'm just gonna take the Azuri. Like I'm not gonna be able to stop their mana production. And they put a card on top, so like, that likely means they're gonna be able to turn it on. If I had a removal spell, I would have taken probably Heritage Druid. And then just killed whatever they did here. <laughs> We're going to pray. I guess not. We need fetch land into Nasty Germasty off the top here. Fetch land. Alright, that's pretty good. That's actually a really good draw. Hit this. Shock here. Pass. I don't think like there's any they're not gonna give me an opportunity to stop anything this turn, but two drop. And then here's the heritage druid. 
Okay. We can find an angler. We're doing all right. We just milled over an angler. No. All right, let's look at our top card. Actually, let's start off by, actually, hang on. No, yeah, let's thought scare ourselves. Tilt. Street Wraith. We're gonna keep Street Wraith because it's just like a redraw that's gonna enable our Death Shadow plan. We're gonna try to like kill something before they go into their main phase though. Okay. So we're just gonna, I think I'm gonna bolt this druid. Ooh, I don't have any more lands. This is in my hand. Oh no. We got a good old Teddy Pantaruski there. Yeah, I messed that up. I'm used to playing the third red source, and we just tossed that one. All right, dude. I'm going to get punished so hard here. You're just going to, like. Yeah, this is going to be so bad. This is bad for the home team. Which I should have known that. There was no reason for me to tap my red land because I could easily. Okay, says the Arch Druid. I'm glad I got the land tapped. So we can at least kill this. And then there's like a little bit no harm, no foul. But I need a threat in order to turn on my Stubborn Denial and make sure I just don't get company. All right, we're going to shut this mana down. And I think I'm going to want this land at some point. So we're going to play it. <coughs> Oh, nothing. No plays from the opponent. That means they gotta have like a company in their hand or a land. All right, so I think, I don't have a, like I really don't want to snap Thought Scour. That sounds so mopey. Maybe I'll just go like snap, push something or hold up snap bolt. Cause like snap thoughts scour is so gross. And it's just offensive. I could just eat this thing and then hold up fatal push. Which I kinda like. So we're just gonna put this in. Target fatal push. Oh yeah. All right, so we pegged his cards. Now I'm just gonna like, now I'm just gonna clear the board. Oh wow, they conceded? Dude, I have nothing. Cause Snap Bolt can go upstairs and I'm planning on blocking so it'll turn Revolt on so it'll hit a three drop. If they can, like I was gonna, I was gonna flash the Snapcaster Age in target fatal push and then eat the heritage druid and wait until the end of their turn so they couldn't play a three drop they had it that was the old teddy planskis all right so we want everything to kill something we're going to cut a couple of these well we're going to cut one of them cut one of these <clears throat> I don't remember how I boarded against this deck to start. We're on the draw. These Snapcaster Mages are just going to be so fucking bad on the draw. I want all my one-man interaction. I probably can just cut a couple of these. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. Why not snap, snap bolt is the default? I think snap bolt wasn't good though, because I wanted to like, if I wanted to keep my snapcaster around, I would have bolted his thing. But my whole plan was to trade with his heritage druid and then wait in case he had like a 
a three drop. And if he didn't have a three drop, then push his other dude, and then the board's empty, and he's got one card in his hand. It's one card. I have Tier Battle Rage. He has one card, and I get the first draw step. That was my plan. And then I had the Bolt still in the graveyard, so if I need to snap Bolt another three drop later in the game. And it might have gotten to the point where, like, bolting their face was, was relevant. It wasn't super relevant there because he's at 20. But that was the old Teddy Planskis. All right, so we get absolutely run over with this hand, but we have a Thought Seize. So, like, and we have a really good sideboard card in our opponent Mulliganed. So, then we'll get a five. Jesus. <coughs> what I'm playing. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. The struggle of over-internet chatting. All right, so what they do, they put it on top. So I think I'm just gonna take this Sylvan Messenger. This Dwayne's Elite doesn't do anything. Though I could just take his turn two play. I could just take his turn. I could just take like Shaman, Shaman, Shaman. Yeah, I think that's the plan. We don't have a Death Shadow, so I don't necessarily want to get Shaman out of the game. This Messenger is like really far off. Okay, so here comes the Elite. I'm gonna start by opting. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take a shaman. <coughs> You're gonna crack me to eight. And then I'm probably gonna play angler on my turn. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get. Let's see if we can find a Death Shadow. So we can go Death Shadow and Angler. We'll be in like good shape, but we didn't, unfortunately. So let's. And then hopefully, if they land this messenger, I'm going to feel pretty sad if they just went runner, runner, lands. God, you went runner, runner, lands. What a jerk. Okay, so he just gets a Missouri. That's not bad. We can beat that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to just tick up on this Messenger. This Liliana. I'll probably play this land tapped. Hey, Fromberg. How you doing? Well, now I'm just going to Thought Seize this, or Discard. Take him on the one that has Trample, in case there's a reason to pump it. And now we'll be able to Dismember one. Scavenging use, so we're going to kill that. Let's do this first. All right. Before they eat any more of my graveyard. And then I think we're just going to play Protect the Queen here. All right. That's a pretty good draw. So now we can like full retail dismember something and um, still have a stubborn denial. And he's gonna start like, he's gonna have to start suiciding into this Liliana here pretty soon. And we're just gonna eat a creature on his upkeep. This stubborn denial makes me feel all warm and safe inside. 
So my opponent actually has to attack here, I think. Just send it, dude. Your your cards like your all your elves are just like super redundant. They don't really do anything. Kill the one with trample. <coughs> I think we can get in here now. We only get punished by like an arch druid. Okay, so we'll pick that off, and then we'll probably now hold our angler back. Hold Nasty Germasty back. Unless I just want to race him. Like, how, what's a better line for me to win this game? Probably to, like, probably just race this. Um, probably my best line to win is just get in here with this angler. Because angler's a three-turn clock. This isn't guaranteed a three-turn clock. Because he puts me into two, puts me in four. So even if he top decks a shaman of the pack, we go to two. I tick up on the this block the shaman. Yeah, let's go in here and attack. I should have I should have attacked first. We're just gonna put the squeeze on him. Now if we top deck like a lightning bolt, we only got one left in our deck, but lightning bolt's lethal. Alright, let's go to me. Alright, question of the day. I probably just attack, play another Liana, and tick up on this. Because, like, how do I lose? I lose if my I lose if I attack and my opponent top decks a shaman of the pack. Like that's how I lose. So I think I'm just gonna toss this Liliana and tick up. And like not even worry about ulting it. And just get him dead next turn. It's a power play. Now my opponent needs to produce four points of power on defense in order to not die, and we have a stubborn denial. And again, this is like an odd play, but I think I'm so far ahead here, I can get into like, how do I lose territory? And sometimes that's how you're gonna play magic. Right, Philly? Yes, Dad. Yo, this is for the 4 1. That's gas. All right, it's a block party. You got upkeep company. We're just going to go like this. We're going to battle rage our homeboy. Get on my face. All right, there we go. That felt good. <coughs> the old 4-1, which is nice. I'm gonna go fill up my coffee. Let's talk about the deck here and then think if we wanna change anything. I wanna stop my YouTube video as well.